beautiful souls i welcome you all to my channel lighthouse tarot 369 friends this time i am present in front of you with a weekly reading before i start the reading i would like to apologize for the last week as i could not post the weekly reading as i was not keeping well and i think you all can guess it from my voice as well uh, and yes coming week there is diwali right so i wish you all a very 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 happy diwali safe diwali enjoy the diwali and keep safe right so for the coming week we have two piles as usual i'll show you both the piles i already have selected cards right uh, so you just select the pile and then we will move into the reading so this is pile number one okay and this is pile number two i'll show you both the piles together pile number one pile number two one and two you can pause take a deep breath and then decide which pile is attracting you more and you can select that pile right meanwhile i'll prepare for the reading okay so let us move into the reading before moving ahead i would like to tell you all that this is a general collective reading and definitely all its points will not resonate with you so please take those points which are resonating with you and you can leave the other points behind right now this is the reading for the people who have selected pile number one right this card and it says no need to worry right i will open all other cards and then we will move into the reading So pile number one what I see over here is that that the angels are telling you not to worry. I see over here that uh, in the coming week you are going to leave behind something and right? there is something which is going to end and that end is actually the beginning of something new. As you can see over here right the card says death and then it says I am learning that ending endings are merely beginnings right so definitely uh, you are actually going to end something this end can be you know you may in case of your uh, work you can say that you will be probably starting a new job or a new business or a new venture right uh, and in order to start that new you will leave the old one behind uh, similarly uh, in relationship in some of you right you may move ahead you you may move on from your existing relationship uh, and that will be actually uh, you can say uh, for the betterment of you all right for some of you what i see over here is that that uh, uh, now the problems in your relationship will end like suppose there are some people i can see who were facing problems in getting married uh, with the partner that they have selected so i see that there will be an end to all those things and your parents and other people who were till now opposing this relationship will now agree to that so that is good uh, then we have got the card of perception and balance so you will actually move ahead in life with the balance you will because you already have learned how to manage the balance and now you will be moving ahead in that way and this card of perception actually it's all green color it talks about your heart chakra so somewhere in your heart you have learned the truth of the world you have learned the reality of the world and uh, you have developed 
an intuition which actually can understand everything around you right in fact there are possibilities that there are certain things which your eyes are not able to see but your heart is able to feel all those things you will be actually welcoming the transformation as i said over here that something is going to end so you are going to accept that transformation very positively and you will be managing a good balance you will be moving ahead with a very good balance it will be uh, you will be balancing your work and life balance very well you will be balancing uh, all the relationships properly be it with your friends with your family members with your loved ones your parents everyone even at your workplace you will be moving ahead with proper balance you already have learned actually that uh, the true pleasure of uh, life is actually moving ahead in the journey right it is not the destination but the journey that matters uh, you will be paying attention towards your health and in case if you are, have been neglecting your health you are uh, suggested over here that you need to take good care of your health as well uh, so yes you will be actually moving ahead and you know now that you don't have to always keep chasing people and you already have learned that and now you will be working for pleasure you will be working for enjoyment and satisfaction right so you are advised to balance maintain a very good balance everywhere right even you can say balance you have to have balanced diet you have to maintain good balance so that you know balance of sleep and work and everything so that you don't suffer afterwards uh, moving ahead uh, what i see over here is that you have got the card of page of pentacles five of wands eight of pentacles and eight of cups so over here eight of cups and death these two cards actually are telling everything right uh, this card tells that you will be uh, leaving something uh, uh, because you want to find something new you are in search of something new and the same thing has been told by this card so this is what your coming week will be all about and then you have got page of pentacles card So this card indicates that uh, you can expect some positive news in the coming week. Uh, it can be, you know, like those who are waiting for some positive news about their career or their workplace, they can get that. Those who are expecting a good news uh, in a love and relationship, they can also expect it. So positive news are coming and uh, what I see over here is that you will start learning something new uh, and you will start enhancing your skills. As far as your love and relationship is concerned, you will be actually, you can say, uh, more concerned about your stability. You will be more concerned about your stability. And one more thing is that whatever you invest in in the coming week, it is going to come back to you right so it's going to be very fruitful week and that is why this eight of pentacles also has indicated the same thing that you will be more focused on your work you will be working hard because you know that uh, uh, working hard will only bring you success or the results that you want right here the card of five of wands actually uh, indicates that there are people around you who have been like pulling your leg and were not happy with your progress but then with your hard work and dedication you are going to uh, you can say put all those people behind and you are going to move ahead in your life because uh, your skills will be acknowledged your efforts will be acknowledged and now you are 
the master of your skills like uh, you already have started learning something new and everything enhancing your skills and then you will be the master of your skills right and then with that only what i see over here is this card which tells right that you are moving ahead towards something new you are leaving something behind and then you are leaving ahead moving ahead sorry so friends this is a very uh, positive reading wherein the angel has told you not to worry because whatever is happening is happening for good yes something old is going to come to an end or is going to change right and this change is going to be very uh, you can say positive for all of you wherein you will be more concerned about your financial stability you will be more concerned about enhancing your skills and at the same time uh, you are the one who have understood people around you who has developed the intuitions you can say very well and uh, you are advised to listen to your heart and uh, by ma maintaining a balanced approach towards everything you can move ahead it's going to be a wonderful week for all of you so that's all from me pile number one wish you all a very very wonderful week ahead and yes this is diwali so again i am wishing you a very happy diwali please remember what goes around comes around thank you so much we will meet again next time so welcome pile number 2 this is the reading for all those people who have selected this card pile number 2 before we move into the reading just let me open all the cards fine so the first card that you have got is that of mother mary expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered wow what a wonderful card so pile number 2 already your prayers have been heard and uh, almighty is ready to answer them so this is the time for you of happiness you have to be happy enjoy whatever is coming because your cards are very positive and uh, the week is going to be really very wonderful and brilliant for all of you right <clears throat> so this is the card of happiness which tells that i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path right so you are on the right path and you are the one who has achieved the enlightenment you are the one who has understood this is the card which talks about your solar plexus chakra this tells you that uh, uh, you have learned that happiness is nowhere else but within you it is not anywhere else the person has to travel within in search of the true happiness and he or she can get it there only and this is the enlightenment this is the knowledge that you already have achieved right and then you have got this card of guilt so whatever guilt you are having of your past actions or of your past uh, uh, happenings or whatever has happened in your life uh, and if you are uh, you can say holding yourself responsible for that so you need to come out of that guilt because this is again you know uh, the second chakra which talks about this wherein you have to actually because this is the third chakra right solar plexus chakra is the third chakra which is telling you that you have to learn this enlight uh, this enlightenment because then only you can move ahead and then happiness also has told you the same thing right so in order to achieve the happiness and in, in order to achieve the enlightenment you have to move away from this guilt so no, just need to work on your second chakra and then things will be all right now i must tell you pile number 2 something major has changed or is changing in your life at present because these cards all of them are major arcanas so definitely you are all going through something 
very 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 big in your life right now and that is why you know over here even this card has told you that your prayers are going to be answered now so what i see is that probably before this you have been through very tough times you have been through you can say times when you were very uh, you can say tired or hopeless or the one you were the one who had lost all hopes and uh, the zeal to live the life but then uh, your prayers are because all those things are now o over and major learning is already taking place and these cards are so very positive right so the card of hierophant now this card tells us that you are going to get solution of all your problems uh, at the same time you have now achieved the knowledge divine knowledge and divine connection and at the same time what i see is that uh, you are either a teacher or a student or you are the one who is in the field of uh, something of teaching or education sort of thing uh, some of you those who are planning to get married um, now is the time when things will start falling into place and um, like suppose if you were dating somebody you will be getting married to that person or you will be approaching that person or you will be planning a marriage with them sort of thing so this is something that can happen uh, what you need to understand over here is that you have achieved the wisdom right through your experiences you have achieved the wisdom now is the time to use this wisdom for your betterment so this is a time where you have to use this wisdom that you have achieved right for your betterment because the time is now going to change right all your days which were full of uh, uh, you can say sorrow or grief or challenges are now over now you have to use your experiences you have to use your knowledge you have to use your connection with the universe and then all those things put together will you know change this cycle this field will change and will bring luck to you and then we have got the card of high priestess and uh, high priestess tells you the same thing again over here that you have achieved all the knowledge and you have to use this knowledge to uh, like achieve everything that you want to achieve because success is there for you and nobody can stop you from this success now the reason for this is that because you have learned you have mastered the skills you have mastered you are now the master of your intuition your mind is so sharp your intuition is also so sharp that uh, nothing can stop you you are the person who can now understand what is black and what is white what is good and what is not good what is good for you and what is not good for you so keeping all those things in mind you will move ahead and you are the person who is a good hearted person so that is why um, you will always be a person who will be ruled by emotions you can say and at the same time you will be following your intuitions you can say, right and then you have got this card of hanged man this card tells you that uh, you know you have to apply all your learning you have to apply your skills you have to apply your intuitions and everything and then you have to concentrate and you have to work very hard uh, and once you work hard you will be achieving everything that you want to achieve uh, over here one suggestion is there for you that you need to change your uh, uh, the way you look at people right uh, or the way you uh, are perceiving things you need to change that right so change your attitude little bit and then that's that's all right just change your attitude and work hard and uh, and be patient right you need to be patient because definitely success is yours and you have like uh, you can say 
you have been through so much that now nothing can stop you from success but then you have to wait a little god is definitely going to answer all your prayers so have faith in that so this card also tells you to you know let go of your past and let go of your uh, negative feelings and everything because the coming week is fantastic for you all just enjoy that week i'm really so happy to see so beautiful cards pile number two right so in all pile number two what i can like summarize the reading over here is like that that definitely your prayers are going to be answered and now is the time for happiness happiness is just 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 is about to come right and you already have achieved the knowledge and yes whatever past actions or past incidents which have hurt you or which have given you guilt just get rid of it as i told you let go so just let go of all those things because uh, you already have all the understanding you already have all the knowledge you know everything you know your traditions you know your value everything so you are very you are the person who can guide others in fact right so uh, just one thing is that the time is going to change new new happiness new uh, time you can say is going to come just be in touch with your intuitions right and as i said little bit of let go and at the same time little bit of change in uh, the way you perceive things so that is all for me by number two wish you all a very happy diwali again and yes uh, please do remember what goes around comes around i request you all that if you have liked my reading then please do like and subscribe right because if you like and subscribe my channel i would be uh, you know obliged and it will be actually uh, encouraging me to do more videos for all of you so love you all thank you so much have a wonderful diwali ahead and have a wonderful week ahead we'll meet again till the time bye bye and take good care of yourselves thank you so much